Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains with Jan Willard. We're going to be showing you some beautiful brass locomotives from Jan's collection. All of them are HO scale, and the first uh, video we did of these uh, locomotives all sold out um, literally within hours of the post. So uh, if you see anything you want, contact me at alpug1 at verizon.net. The link will be below. If you have any additional questions or you see something you want, we do United States Postal Service Priority Mail. Uh, we do not ship overseas and we do not ship uh, to Canada. But if you're in the continental United States, we can take care of it. So let's start off, Jan. This one is the uh, Northern Pacific uh, Ten Shadow piece. Is yes, that what this is? Yes, 2680. Okay. And it's just gorgeous. It has the original box. And I don't think this has ever been run, has it? Very little wear. Yeah, we'll pick it up and show you the back of it. And let's pull it out a little bit here so we can pretty much just an interesting piece. And this is an open frame motor on yeah, this, this is the original open frame. All right, let me show you the back. And we've got a jeweled headlight up front back end of the model here this does not have cab detail this is again this is a open frame so there's no cab detail on this and let me show you the uh, underside of it and the underside shot and this particular one is being offered for seven hundred and fifty dollars all right folks our next one is a uh, h8 which is a Allegheny. It's a 2666. This is made by Key Import. Well, it's imported by Key Imports, and it is the last version of it. It has got a big can motor in it, doesn't it, Jan? Yeah, a real big one. And this is the last version. Yeah. And uh, it's unpainted, but it runs flawlessly, and the motor in this is a big, strong pulling motor. It's a big motor, very large. Big, large motor. And uh, this is a thousand dollars, and uh, we've seen them factory painted for considerably more money. And the back head detail inside the cab is is exquisite. And then you've got your tender, obviously on the back. And I'm going to get a shot. I'm going to get a shot of the other side. The detail's exquisite. Now, folks, if you're interested in any particular locomotive and you want more close up photos or more video of a particular locomotive, I can arrange to do that for you. Uh, but uh, again, this one's $1,000. Has the factory box. It's in excellent condition. And let's pause it and show you the under, underside. All right, this is the underside of it, and it's got a giant red ball can motor in it. It's a big one, yeah. And that's what they came with from the factory? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very powerful. Very powerful. It is still powerful. It's nothing and weird. these are all going to be test run, so you can be assured that it runs uh, smoothly. But again, they're all DCC, obviously. All right, our next one up is imported by Key, but it's made by SK, SKI. It's made by Sky. It's $550. It uh, has very minimal runtime on it. And Jan, this is original factory uh, paint. Oh, yeah. The whole thing's original paint. Okay. And the original box as well. Let me show you the other side. That's the other side. This is a 280. And again, it's made by Ski. Uh -huh. Imported by Key Imports. And this has a can motor with uh, cab uh, interior. And this one is offered for sale for $550. Let's show you the underside here. Very, very minimal of any. You can see how clean that is. All right, folks, for you Western Maryland people, these things are hard to find. Pro Custom Hobbies uh, that used to be in Catonsville, Maryland, brought in these Western Maryland 484s, Class J, and uh, let's show it to you. 
And here she is, folks, out of the box. And the box is in superb condition. The foam is superb. And I guess Pro Custom Hobbies painted these? Uh, they did, 1985. Wow. And this is, uh, I don't think this thing, this thing looks to me like it's never been run other than maybe a test. Yeah. <clears throat> nice one. Locomotive here. We don't see too many Western Maryland pieces, and we get I get calls all the time or emails all the time looking for Western Maryland stuff. So yeah. I, this one will sell quickly. This one is seven hundred dollars, and uh, again, all of these are DC only. If you want DCC and sound installed, Jan can do that for you at an additional cost. But uh, let's take a closer look. And there's the cab detail on it. It's got a can motor. Well, and this is a front view. And I'm going to go ahead and show the underside. Is that okay, Jan? Sure. Right, down, yeah. Just want to show folks. Look at the underside of this. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, folks, we've got a Z8 uh, Challenger 4664 coming up next. Let's show it to you. And another splendid specimen that shows really no evidence of being run other than maybe tested. Jan, again, will again, be test running all of these to make sure they run beautifully before shipping. Very exquisite. This one has a can motor too, doesn't it, Jim? Oh, no, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, we'll take a look and see. It may be an open frame. Open as old frame. As old that is, it might be. All right, let me pause this. Here's cab detail. We'll check the underside to see if it's got a can motor. Most likely it does. She's a long piece. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep. Has a can motor, folks. It's not a red ball can motor, but it is a can motor. You can see that there's been very little use on this. And the box is uh, in excellent condition as well. And this particular one is being offered for $850. Okay, folks, the next specimen we have here is a Key M64484 Northern. It's $500. It's custom paint. Uh, it's not factory paint. Um, again, it's an excellent specimen. Box is in great shape. Nicely painted. Pretty locomotive, inexpensive. Uh, Five hundred dollars is pretty reasonable. It's a beautiful piece. It's got a nice, nice coal load in it. And uh, let's pick it up and take a look at the underside, Jan. If you want to do that. Yeah. Let's, uh... That Sam Hawks, yeah. Okay. okay. Can a... motor. Uh, yeah. It looks like a a um, NWSL can motor. Okay. Good one too. And uh, let's take a look at the cab. Yeah, it's got cab detail okay. in it. And again, folks, any of these locomotives you're interested in, you want additional photos, you can contact me at the link below, and I'd be more than happy to take a whole photo sweep of any particular engine that you might be of interest. Next up is a Northern Pacific Z3 Pacific Fast Mail. The box is in excellent condition. Good condition, I should say. This one is major eye candy, folks. It is an excellent specimen. Can motor. Mm 
this little guy absolutely beautiful the little tender on this thing is just super cool and let me show you the cab detail on it and the running gear detail it's exquisite just a really interesting beautiful piece and this one is eight hundred dollars got the cab detail top detail clean as a whistle down here beautiful folks this is a really cool piece this is another eye candy by Lambert by Lambert it's a C15S 080 exquisite detail it's really a cool little locomotive it's not doesn't have DCC, but Jan was saying it does have... It has a speaker to simulate a chuff. If you connect the pin up, there's a little speaker in the tender that'll simulate a chuff sound. And that's factory. That's factory. It's all factory. Yeah. And there's factory decals in here for it, so... Wow. This is just a neat... You, you'd oh. say, ah, it's an 080. Help. And it runs beautiful. Look at the cab detail on this. So it, it's got a nice can motor. Mm -hmm. The cab detail on this is out of sight. Man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, this is really pretty. A little smudge there, but I'm going to show you the. Look at that bottom. Yeah, the bottom of this is it's Japanese. Yeah. Man, never, never been run. This is a really. You don't see these. I've never seen anything like this. I one. I I did one for him. Wow. He did all that. What a really, really interesting piece. Again, this particular one. Actually, this one is six hundred. We'll have a listing with the video. Obviously, if you go to the the video detail, folks, you'll see it. In the description of the video, while you're watching this, all the prices will be listed. All right, folks, this is Max Gray. And, Jan, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about Max Gray. Max Gray was an importer that brought in absolutely it's the very finest stuff. Very high quality. The running gear, wheels, everything. I mean, almost in this forever. I've done a lot of work on them, and they're very, very... Uh, impenetrable they just really run well built like tanks yeah if you want something that runs incredibly well and can pull like hell i think this has an open frame motor in it it's original motor because wow. there's no dip there's no de detail back end detail i don't know who did the paint work the custom no. you know on it i do not know it is not a factory paint no but nevertheless let's get underneath it and take a look if you want to yeah. let me look at this oh my god yeah yeah and run just a little bit yeah. and clean it up and sure. lube it and and this particular one this has an open frame motor yeah. and it's japanese this one's ktm yeah. this simulates a three cylinder okay the mm -hmm. third cylinder would be right up here hmm yeah i think oh, i'm wow. right am i right up there yeah you if you look in the side there's third cylinders in the center oh wow see it yeah that's third cylinder. That's really cool. And that one is 500 bucks. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, this next one is an Olympia S2. And there's two of these. Yes. And um, this is the first one. They're both $500. Um, this one has the open frame motor. Yes, original. Original. And it is that's tender there. These had, even though it's an open frame motor, these still have cab detail, which oh, yeah. is they were way, way, way ahead of their time. They really were. And this, uh, let's pause it. All right, there's a shot of the cab detail. All right, and uh, that's the non-can motor one is 400. That's this one. We have the one with the can motor next right. to it. That one's 500 mm -hmm. and they are both exquisite. Let's go ahead and flip this one. Yeah. You can see that they, 
just very minimal use. They like run said, good, don't they? All the rims are steel machined. They're not just nickel silver. They're machined steel. My God. Uh, a lot of Connie did the same thing, and that's why they last forever. My Lord. Yeah. And then on this one, yeah. very yeah. similar yeah. quality. Look at all this quality, double stuff here. Yeah, that's amazing. And that's how the rules were. Yeah, they yeah. had double rivet, it's double uh, uh, bearings. Oh yeah. Oops. You got the wheel. Yeah, get that. We'll get that wheel. There we go. There we go. Let's take a look at the front. Get a shot. Oh yeah. Of the front. I think they both have lights in them too. And the, the lights that came with them, they light up. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. They're not yeah. as it can all be changed to something else. So the one uh, the one with the can motor shown here is five hundred and the one with the open frame motor is four hundred. Right. Next up is an Olympia Greenbrier, Chesapeake and Ohio. It's a four eight four J three A. Look at this, folks. Signed off. Final inspection. Japan, 1963. Condition of these boxes is good, folks. The foam is in remarkable shape given the age. Um, For 1963, it doesn't matter what year we're talking for the detail. Like Jan said, this thing is just... Oh, yeah. up to absolute standards mm -hmm. and these are made in Japan all of the mm -hmm. Olympia mm -hmm. and this is this an emerald series yes the green pH and this thing runs beautifully mm -hmm. and even though it's an open frame they put can well they put excellent cab detail in these and it appears that it had Coal. Mm -hmm. I'll have to find out if these things had coal from the factory or not. We'll have to check with uh, Howard. Howard would know. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a beautiful piece. And let's flip it over, Jan, if you want to show the underside mm -hmm. of the... Yeah, look at that. And that one is 500. Okay. All right. All right. Jan said some of the emeralds, emeralds had green uh, inside. Some did not. I think the year determined that. This is all just, you know. This is, this is just. Uh, there you go. Look. Right. You can tell that's original. Original pack in there. Oh yeah. This is the CNO I'm about to show you folks. Uh -huh. Well, here's four, the. Six, four. It's a four six four, custom painted. I don't know who did the custom paint on it. And uh, this has the cab detail on it. A little bit of light weathering. Let me show you the other side. All right, and that's a shot here. Now we've got some marks here, folks. So uh, it's a good deal, though, for three hundred dollars. You can't can't complain. And uh, again, all the prices will be written down in the description of the video, and you can see the underside of it is in excellent shape. So there's a little bit of uh, some cosmetic issue on the tender, but it's something that can be easily remedied. Something that can be easily remedied. And that's the other side of what we were talking about. Did you already do this? Just... Let's take a quick, let's pause this one. Uh, hold on. Well, folks, uh, that's going to end this particular session of engines. Now, again, if you see anything that you like, uh, contact me at alpogmonofhorizon.net. We can get more pictures, more information. And this is just a preview of an, another episode, Jan, when I come back. These are some additional Olympias, right? So this will be on another episode of uh, Jan's collection. Probably be sometime next week. But stay tuned to the channel to see more. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions on these engines, 
contact me at alpug1 at verizon.net. Thanks.